Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on this channel. Now, first of all, before saying anything else, I'm sorry for keeping this uh, wait so long. It's been about three or four days at least. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, since I did the first part of the trip side and offset and the only part of it, because I'm not liking this formation at all. I was running it online a bit. It's just not good. It's not good, you guys. I'm not going to force you to watch another video that is that i just don't even believe in so we'll switch it up we'll do something a little bit more fun which we're going to talk about gun bunch y flex now that is one of the formations that, that has really caught the community by storm it is a nice combination of gun bunch and trip side end with the spacing it's really really interesting it's really weird uh but the concepts are very simple to understand because it's bunch you, you the people that know me know i run bunch and the people that watch me also probably like to run a little bit of bunch and this is an amazing formation to do that out of before getting into anything else though please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of those videos i'll try to be more consistent you guys i got the gun bunch ebook uh, coming out i got i'm working with another man youtuber on an ebook that i'll do for his site so this is going to be very exciting let's get into this one though now before talking about anything else i am currently in the Indi indianapolis colts playbook that's the playbook that most people run online. I'm enjoying it a lot. And this is the bunch Y flex formation. Also, this is only for current, uh, for, for, current gen, for next gen. For I'm on the PS5 right now. Uh, I haven't tried this on the PS4 just because I haven't had time as it is. But if you guys want to test it out on PS4 and let me know whether it works or not, that would be greatly appreciated. But for now, let's talk about the audibles. And the audibles, I really am not sure. Spacing. This is a really nice play. It really is all about personal preference, in my opinion. You can pretty much keep any of those i would definitely change this one though maybe make it smash return that is one of the best every down plays that you can run uh but besides that inside zone if you want to run the ball then you can keep that it's definitely a good idea to keep a running your audibles but i generally don't do that but i'll keep do it for this video so now let's get let's get to talking about this scheme uh the first thing that i always want to point out is that you can run the ball of this very nicely if you have a right-handed quarterback, it is more effective if you run it with the bunch to the left side because the handoff animation is a little bit quicker. I'll show you this actually right now. So you can see pretty quick handoff right there. Let's slide. Let's slide and let's uh, flip the plane. I just want you guys to understand uh, that this is not just me talking out of my asshole. This is actually me explaining to you guys a very important concept because the handoff animation is slightly faster and that that can be that can be the difference between getting by a block uh or a block getting shedded and you getting blown up in the backfield that can definitely uh make a difference now let's go back to the play call screen because let's now talk about some fun stuff let's talk about smash return first smash return is an absolutely gorgeous flood uh cover three bus that's what i'll call okay cool i'm going to first of all for this first step i'm just gonna streak adams and i'm gonna block jones you can also send uh, keep him on this check and reach but i just like an extra block uh, back there uh, so let's keep it going and the first read or the read, uh, read that you obviously want to throw is the corner route to Randall Cobb But you will see that this corner route. I don't know why for me It doesn't show up that deep and it also doesn't go that deep. So this only is open in certain. Oh my god I'm gonna shut it up my mind This is only open in certain situations. So that is why this is not the play that I go to if I want uh, To flood the left at uh, the right side of the field. I can show you that this obviously Against hard flats, this is going to get open. I'll just uh, set this up right here. Against hard flats, this is, of course, open. So I wouldn't disregard that corner. Some people, uh, if you're hitting the flat a lot out of some other plays, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, then they might go hard flats, and that, that, then that corner is absolutely uh, brilliant. But for now, we're just going to talk about this circle route. And, oh, my God. <laughs> I even have terrible pass rushes in there on uh, defense. Uh I just want, want you guys to watch this circle route. I love this timing. It gets into a, a very nice pocket. And I'm actually going to have to put this guy right here in the spot because he's just shedding this guy like crazy. Uh, so let's do this one more time. Snap the ball. And now you can see how this just gets into a nice area where kind of everything uh, gets cleared out. And that is an easy 7 to 8 yards guarantee to pop if you can get that open. Now, if we let's say, okay, this is guarded. Well... Then we have the in route to Tanyan. Very, very simple concept. Now, that is, of course, not the only thing that you can do out of this. One more play that place as play setup that I like is put Devontae Adams on a, sl on a slant and Ronald uh, Jones either on one of the, either on this one. The I don't know what, what, what is it called? 
uh, on the swing or we can put him on an outright. I personally like the swing a little bit better just because it, it, it seems to attract more attention uh, from the flat zone. And then we can throw this slant in behind it very nicely. Very good throw right there by me, if I do say so myself. I mean, it's easy if you know what the coverage is running. Okay, whatever. But th this is not the only perk of this uh, play because I want to now run this against main coverage. And we can do something like this where you put Adams on his land. And I want you to pay attention to one very simple thing. Tanyan, I'm going to put on a smart routed out route. Now, I'm going to motion Adams across and I'm going to, while I'm doing that, I'm going to hold up the defensive play art. So I'm going to motion Adam, Adams across and you can see how we got a switch right there. So if I now snap this ball, the slant is in, uh, the person that is now supposed to cover the slant has outside leverage on this. I'll actually go into replay because I want to show this to you guys. This is, this is really fun. Instant replay. There we go. Okay. So you can see how I'm snapping the ball. Uh, this guy right here, he's signaling. Okay. Okay. Let's switch. Let's switch. But he has outside leverage on this land, so you can see how this land absolutely cooks. And this guy right here, not this guy, the guy that was supposed to cover, uh, that was previously covering Adams, now has to get all the way over there. He has all the way inside leverage uh, to cover an out route. And that is why this got so open. Robert Tani is not fast. He's not a good route runner, but because of the leverage, this is an amazing play against main coverage. And I also want to show you the... Uh, let's Let's... Let's do this. I also want to show you this circle route against main coverage. It's absolutely beautiful. So, that, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Richard Sherman, chill out, buddy. Chill out. Let's try this again. This got absolutely body bag, man. Let's do this again. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Nice. We get no separation at all. Guys, if we have a better route runner right there than Devin Funches and we don't have Richard Sherman coming, covering him in man-to-man -man coverage, then this works so much better. But this is one of the best routes against man coverage. It doesn't really show right there. But believe me, this route absolutely cooks man coverage if you have anybody there that can run a route, which, I mean, it really does seem like uh, Devin Funches just can't. Let's keep it going, though. Uh, 83 halfback choice now. The only reason why I would ever run this play is because I like this crossing route and the wheel route from the inside wide receiver right there is kind of nice in certain spots. And I'm going to talk about this to you guys. Can can we have a serious talk, guys? Let's talk about how nice this crosser is. I'm going to motion it over and that is basically going to be the whole play. So we're going to snap the ball. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. And after a while, our one gets open. I got shattered right there again. I don't know why I think I thought that the Packers O line was a little bit better than this, but we're get, just, we're just getting destroyed out here. We're getting destroyed. But now let's wait again. Let's wait. Let's wait. Oh my God, our one is open, you guys. You can throw that if you want to. It's a nice play. Also, just by itself, the the cross is a little bit too deep. I don't like I don't like the way the cross is set up. But if you motion it across, it's a nice play. Now let's talk a little bit about that corner from the tight end. I don't like it too much. I must say it gets to it difficult area i mean if you have somebody there that actually has some zone coverage with which these rex players don't have that is a tight throw you can throw it it is definitely there but i wouldn't want to make a lip uh, have to make a living off of it one thing however that is very interesting about the spacing of this uh formation is the way this wheel route works so i'm gonna put a drag on adams put a an out route on funches and now i'm going to snap this ball this is against cover three mind you Randall Cobb gets in and the vibra vibration of this controller is annoying me. Uh, Randall Cobb gets in a nice area against cover three and that is something that is going to be there uh, continuously. You just have to make sure that you possession catch it because otherwise you're going to get popped and you want to go down as fast as possible because you're running into a couple of people there. Whatever the case may be, very, very nice setup. For now though, that is enough for 83 uh, HP option. I think that's what it's called. Also, I, I just want to say one real quick. Thing to you guys let's go full, full face cam for this this will keep this will keep getting updated updated as i know more things about this scheme i'm gonna run this online i'm gonna get some more info i'm gonna try out some more plays this is just the first version because i just wanted to get something uh, something out for you guys so you know what i'm running uh so this will of course this will of course get a couple of updates so you guys don't worry about that don't you worry child now spacing let's talk about spacing the interesting thing about this is that it just it just demolishes cover three. I'll snap this ball and you can see circle is open. 
and if circle is not open and the curl flat decides to cover the hitch then the flat is open this is a qu nice quick high play you can just snap it like this or what I <laughs> he really dropped that. What I personally like to do because uh, the hitch from the tight end is gonna get played no matter what. I like to put him on a curl uh, because now the spacing between the different reads is uh, tougher for the user to cover. The user is pretty slow. In previous years, this might not have worked as well just because the user was godly he cover everything. Uh, this year, not so much. This year, this is actually a very very nice concept where you can just continuously hit that circle route over and over again. And it's gonna be very difficult to stop, especially if you can snap the ball this quickly. I mean, it's just one hot route and then you can snap the ball. Also, you can check it down to your running back. You can do a lot of things with that. It's a very nice quick hack play against cover three, which if you guys don't know is what most people are running right now. Also, yeah, no, no I'll, get, I'll get into this in another play, my bad. Uh, not said I'll get into this. Uh, let's now talk about, uh, uh, let's talk about Dagger first. Dagger. The crossing route, it does look nice on the player, but it's, it's actually pretty it's pretty garbage. What I would do is I would put Adams on the flat route. I would block the running back, motion Adams across. There we go. And snap this ball. Now, what this does nicely is this is kind of the setup that I used to get slants open. Uh, the zone would go back there, but the flat route just keeps him down just long enough for, it, for uh, the crossing route to get open. It's kind of a... It's kind of the same concept as a slant, but it's a deeper slant, so you get more yards pop, which is nice. Then, oh my god. On the back side, you have the drag uh, and the in-route combination, which is quite nice. Let's try this thing again. Can we please not get shedded? Offensive line, I believe in you. I believe in you guys. So we're going to snap the ball. Uh, drag right there. Or one very interesting thing that I've noticed a couple of times while I was running this in practice mode. Uh, this setup looks very, looks very basic, so I was like... Yeah, okay, I, my voice cracked. Yeah, okay, why do I have to test this in practice? I'll just run it two times, I guess, and then I was like, oh, actually, hold on a minute. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please pay attention to how the in route gets open because the zone gets distracted by that drag. Oh, my God. The consistency in this game, it's so annoying. I've noticed that so many times, but the one time that I want to show it off, it doesn't work. Okay, so I guess I would not just blind throw that in route. Be just be aware of the fact that this can happen and just like right here this can get open this in route because the zone just dumps out in the middle of the field that can happen it's not guaranteed to happen but it's there it's nice it's cool uh oh i didn't want to do that actually actually the spacing is kind of funny can i pull a flat route out there okay hold on if, if your opponent is not getting any pressure through that's actually a very nice concert you, have, you don't even have to motion it, uh, snap across okay that's cool but there's not much more for me to talk about with Dagger. I do like this deep in route, which is kind of cool. But yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it moving, you guys. Let's keep it friggin' moving. Let's talk about C spot. C spot. That is the flood that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. It's such a nice play. All you do is you just you don't streak the guy that's on the corner out if you want the flood. You just streak Devin Funches. Try to roll out of the pocket if you can't. Then fine but you can still throw that that's a very nice that's a deep corner out. deep corner outs we like those uh one more time and then backside you can do whatever you want i like a deep in route ronald jones on this route is kind of funny unless you uh you need extra protection then i would of course block him but that corner out is just way too nasty also if you just need a couple of yards uh you can there's the flat also if they're not playing hard flats that flat is also there for a couple of yards but just in general, I really like this corner route. It gets into a nice area of the field, uh, especially with the way the spacing is in this formation. The streak just works perfectly. It clears it out so well. Uh, as the player is not updating, I'll just reach spot the ball. So one more time, just streak. Uh, you can also do something like this, where you put a curl there and a swing route. Just some funny stuff. Maybe throw that very early in the play if the user just goes off chasing that corner out. But there's not much more else to this play that I want to talk about. Just throw the corner out. It's a very, very nice concept. The flood, very, very simple. Keep it going. Keep it moving. And I now want to talk about a cover three beater since I haven't talked about any cover three beaters yet. Oh, no, I don't want to talk about cover three. I want to talk about flood first. Uh, flood, that is the play where you, you just hit the flat over and over again. It's so nice. Just snap the ball, snap it stock. That's the flat right there to end Cobb. You got a receiver even there. Uh, so if you get a fast receiver there, you can just get yards of the catch galore. 
Uh, if you wait a little bit longer, you can throw it to the check down. You can also throw it to the in route. You guys know Flood from the regular bunch. It's just as nice here, if not even nicer. Against hard flats, of course, if we snap this ball and we see... Oh my god, we see the zone drifting down. Then we can just hit the out route if we want to. Of course, the in route is also there in that case. Or another setup that I like to go for. Just put Devin Funches on a drag route. Very, very simple. That's another read. Uh, the concept with the uh, flat route still works. You can still throw that. And the nicest thing, you don't even need that clear out route to get open. Uh, to, uh, you don't even need the streak for the deep out to get open against hard flats which is the most important thing otherwise if we needed that route to even get open against hard flats then we could do that but in this case since this is working we can do that and we get some very nice yards because of it now what i want to leave you guys off with is a nice little makeshift cover three bit it's so simple you put the running back on wheel and you streak the tight end this works better if you fast have a faster time oh first of all works better if you can get time uh, this is actually pissing me off because I specifically put in bad pass rushes and we can't even hold on, hold up to them. One more time. Gonna wheel. It's not showing the player again. We have to wheel the running back, put the tight end on the streak. The faster the tight end, the easier this is. Gonna snap, going to, oh my god, I'm gonna get shitted again, aren't I? <laughs> this is just a big failure. But this is worth it. I want to show you guys this cover three beater. Nice. Cool. Let's have this ball. And as soon as he bites down a little bit, we can try to throw that up the field. This actually is looking terrible. And this is supposed to work with the tight end to the short side of the field. But let's try it with the tight end to the wide side of the field. Why not? Let's do that. Let's do that, you guys. Let's have some fun. Okay. Now we got this setup on the offense. I'm gonna put these guys in spies. There we go. So now I'm going to snap this ball. Now this should really cook. This should really cook. Nice. A little bit better. Yeah. Tr will you guys trust me that this is a cover three video if we have a faster guy like Bobby Tanya there? Maybe I should press. Let's try to press. Let's try that. Let's try pressing the defense. Got this set up. Maybe if it's a little bit further down. Okay, nice. Now we get it. You see... Uh, of course, not a lot of people are going to press. This will still work if it's not pressed. The reason why I can prove that it works. Oh, my God. The reason why I can prove that it works is because we get the we get the idea. The wheel route attracts attention from the deep zone, and therefore the streak just gets left wide open. Very, very simple. Also, let's just throw this flat drop one more time because it's fun. Get some nice, easy 90 yards. But we're at the end of the video. Let's go full face cam because I want to make this personal. I appreciate you guys watching this. This is kind of the basic breakdown of the bunch by flex. If you want a more in-depth analysis, then uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely do some more videos on this formation because this works so well with the bunch offset, which I will be doing an ebook on anyways. So this is a good complimentary piece. Very, very nice. Please do not forget to run the ball out of this. It's so effective because of the way that the receivers make the defensive backs line up in this. So great. Make sure you guys test this online. Go into practice mode first. And just run through the setups. Just try to memorize them. This is a nice mini scheme, which I will maybe expand into something a little bit bigger once I get some more plays uh, and some more ideas of the spacing. Because the spacing is what makes this formation weird and great. Because the spacing is weird. But we know bunch. We know kind of the ideas that we want to use out of it. So the plays are easy to, uh, to memorize, easy to run. The spacing, however, is difficult to cover. That is why I like it. Now, I'm rambling on way too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, goodbye. I can't guarantee what next time is. I'll try to make it as soon as possible. Get you another one of those ebook parts. Maybe even on Gun Bunch. Let's see. No, no promises, but let's see. Until next time, goodbye, guys. See you next time. I just said that like five times. Subscribe.